Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to have authentication using Auth0 in Angular. I have already created a component, it's an empty component. I called it Auth Login. And let me add a tag of it to our actor component.html. Okay. And instead of this difficult text, so let's simply add a button for our login here. Let me give it a couple of class net class tags okay and the text would be login all right let me also add a container okay so we change it for the better like this all right and uh, okay uh, let's go to our ts file in our component here uh, we need a constructor at first because uh, this class is going to have some special attributes and also a login function here and this login function is going to be triggered whenever the login button is clicked so let's add a click and it would be login function make sure you add a parenthesis okay and uh, in order so uh, in order that we can actually apply off zero we need to add the dependency using npm i or ng add or npx ng add of zero space angular for slash of zero okay like this and um, in order that you can make sure it is installed you can uh, apply dash dash force as well in the comment but uh, make sure it is actually successfully installed then Let's go to our app.module.ts inside source and add the auth module library we just installed, auth angular, okay? And uh, inside our imports, I guess, uh, we need to add the auth module and dot for root, okay, okay? Parentheses, curly braces, inside this, we need to config our auth zero. And the first attribute is the domain. Let me add, let me set uh, it to an empty string for now. And then the client ID, okay. And where, uh, what are these guys going to be? Go to your Auth0 account and go to your dashboard applications and click on create application. Uh, add a name for your app like my login app, okay? And the type should be single page application for this case. Mm, okay, wait a little bit. And uh, from this uh, network, go to settings, okay? And here we can have uh, our domain. Config it here, all right? And also our client ID. Copy it and paste it here, all right? Now our auth module is configured and also a look that with the, uh, the URL that our app is live on is localhost 4200 so we need to uh, add it uh, to all these fields logout and origin okay but uh, the login shouldn't be here okay it should be empty all right and scroll down to see this button save changes and make sure you click it and save the changes okay then let's go to our TS file and create an attribute uh, to your inside your constructor, public auth, auth service, okay? And uh, it will be applied here inside our login function, like this. This auth, the login with the redirect is a function that we need here. Save the changes, all right? And I think we're done. Let's go and take a look at our app. Okay, on our browser. If I click on the login, let me refresh. Okay, it's already cached and I'm authenticated. That's all. Thanks for watching.